hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa and i'm a cruel cafe youtuber that does not put up that many videos anymore and do a setting a little bit close it's strange to do a video okay today i'm not going to do a get red with me i'm sick and tired of that and i actually don't know what to talk about so today i'm going to use a palette that i talk about it i really want to use but i don't use it but today is today it's the nomad tokyo harayuku palette this is like the cutest eyeshadow palette that i own it looks like this i have done some videos with this first impression free looks one palette maybe i don't know if i've done anything more with it but I can leave the videos down in the description. But this is a really cute little pastel palette that doesn't have my favorite formula. I think it is a little bit tricky to work with, but I'm going to try to do my best today. And I want to do a lighter springy look. And I think I will use this pink one and this i can't remember if these are duochromes or multichromes but i think it's a duochrome this yellow and pink duochrome and maybe use this light pastel -y. god the palette looks really really light in the studio lights uh this yellow somewhat in some shape way or form but okay <laughs> i'm just going to prime my eyes and i'm going to use my eyeshadow primer and i'm also going to use my glitter primer from nyx to use with a dual chrome thingy multi chrome i think it's a dual chrome and up probably yeah cat hair in my mouth i usually don't do do i ever do looks anymore i usually don't do like lighter looks but today oh eyelash i really wanted to do something light because i think we can say that spring is almost in sweden at least I'll, i still have eyes on my windshield before i go to work every morning but it's not it's like 10 degrees 15 degrees celsius in the mornings oh i have a cat there it is Hey, staring at me? I don't know what she's doing. Okay, I will start with... Maybe I shouldn't take this brush. Maybe I can take another brush. I will start with this Lolita. And I will take it, I think, all over my lid. And what I can remember... This is pretty pigmented. I think, if, if I'm not mistaken... I'm not good to remember things about palettes. With other things I'm good, but with palettes and formulas I'm not. But I think the top row is matte, the second row is satins, and the last row is chrome something. Duo multi, I don't know. So I'm going to take this pink shade, kind of fluffy brush, and I'm going to take this all over my lid. And also a little bit up in my crease and then I'm going to do a cut crease over this to have the common one and okay this shade it's really good and I like always feel like I need to do some uh, crazy innovative hard looks but uh, who the hell has time for that? I don't know. Okay. I remember that this color was good. But maybe not this good. It's like done. I do like it. And yeah, this is one of the settings shade. So it's not completely matte. But I do really like it. And it feels like Nomad for me is a brand that I want to try more from. But they don't have my favorite formula, but I really do like most of their color stories. And okay, this 
husband a little bit overboard. My hair, maybe I should have put it up. Okay, so I don't know if I want to deepen this down. And now I'm looking for things I cannot find. I have this color switch thing. Oh, it's here. I just think I want to deepen this down a little bit. And I will go in with this gray one. What I can remember, or was it this one? I think this is going to be too dark. I will go in with the gray one. And I take the same fluffy brush and just... Okay, maybe this isn't a good idea. But you know what? Let's just do it. Because I just want it not to be super flat as I... I'm going to put on the shimmer, but I want something out here. And now it's itching on my back. Ugh. Okay, maybe that wasn't dark enough. Now I haven't done my makeup in a while, and it's like I'm forgetting how brushes works. <laughs> Not really, but almost. Okay, maybe this is too dark. Maybe a little bit too dark. Hmm. And maybe it's workable. Is this maybe what I wanted? Maybe it's going to be enough like this. Okay, I actually do think that I like this but I still do I want to do a half cut crease or or do I maybe like this maybe I could do like a really shimmery inner corner instead and spray it and take this one and do really blown out inner corner instead. Maybe that is actually going to be better because I do like it like this. And I think I will just do the same on my lower lash. So take the pink and then put this over out here. Because I think this was a really good combo. I didn't think it was going to be this good. And now I have a cat. Here again. Okay. I will actually have the lids like this, so I will do my base and uh, maybe we could do the inner corner together. So I will do my base and my lower lash, the inner corner together with you, and then I will finish off the look off cam. So yeah, <laughs> I'll just fix that and then I come back. I'm almost done with my face. I'm going to use some setting spray, but I think that first we can do the inner corner highlight smoky thingy so i will take this one and i do want to spray it because i want it really really intense so i'm taking this brush i think it's going to be good and from kaleidos and then i'm going to use some setting spray and i'm really trying to think so so much on my little brush I hope that you can see something. For me, it looks really cute. Okay, I do really, really like this. So, yeah, I will just finish off, off my face. Try to choose a lip. It's going to be hard for this look, I think. But I will see what I will. This is the finished look for my waterline. I used a fluffy from Colourpop and on my lips I did use an old lipstick. This is Gold Digger and this is one that actually survived my declutter I did. And yeah, I do really like this look and on my face for blush I did use the Melt Buskill. This one. That is one of my favorite blushes. And for blush, my no highlighter, I did use one from Lethal. I did use this one. I think it's called Flux. Flux, 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 
looks. I don't know, but um, I want you to use a pink highlighter. And yeah, this is the finished look. I do really, really like it. I think it's kind of fun, a little bit springy, maybe, and still a little bit dark. So I'm really happy with this one. And I do like this palette, but it's not my favorite formula. And not all eyeshadows are super good. Um, the ones I used today are. So I used this Lolita and Visual K. Both amazing. And I used Saku Saku in my inner corners. And yeah, I do like this look. It was a super simple, fun look with a little bit of pop in my inner corner and yeah i'm happy that i used the nomad again and this is what i wanted to do today is bring a fun look and um, i guess that's all for today i do hope that you like this video and i am on i'm trying to do a year long no buy and I do really really want to use the eyeshadows that I have do you hear her? it's Ines I do really want to use the eyeshadow palettes I have and I really want to try to use the older ones that I have or the ones that I haven't used that much but I think it's hard to know how to do it and tutorials it's not my thing I don't know if this is tutorial and I, yeah, I just don't know, but I want to try to use my collection more. I've talked about this so many times. But okay, I guess that was all for this video. I do really hope you like it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss when I put up a new video, whenever that will be. And no one knows. But yeah, I really hope you like this and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!